Hi, and welcome to Facts on Four, a monthly cable access show discussing um, things that are happening of interest in Ward 4 and the city of Brockton. My name is Susan Nicastro, and I represent Ward 4 on the Brockton City Council. It's my pleasure to be here today to, prevent, to present this show for the month of May 2021. So the first thing I'd like to begin with is some city-related news. And unfortunately, the city of Brockton continues to be in the red zone as to cases of COVID-19 in, in Brockton. As of Monday, May 10th, there were 212 active cases of COVID in Brockton. And of those 212, 14 are hospitalized and five are in the intensive care units of hospitals. Uh, the confirmed case total at this time is 13,860. We remain among the, the most cases in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The total resident deaths is 429, which makes me really sad. And the positive test rate is 4.92. This is, this is very troubling as we head into the summer. And I'd like to urge all residents of Ward 4 and the city of Brockton, if you don't feel good, go get tested. It's easy to do and it's free of charge. And if you haven't been vaccinated, please consider doing so by, you would call 508-580-7123 to arrange a vaccination. And I should tell you, I have been fully vaccinated. I had my second vaccine on April 15th, uh, and it's, it's not bad at all. After the first vaccine, I had a sore arm. After the second vaccine, I had flu symptoms for about a day and a half. I drank lots of water, I took Tylenol to relieve the symptoms, and I watched a couple old movies. It's really not bad at all, and it's so worthwhile. You know, with the variants of this illness that are coming into America now, we really, and they're supposed to be much more contagious than the version we have been dealing with in America, it's really very important to think hard about being vaccinated if you haven't already done so. Um, and again, if you'd like to make arrangements for that, the number you would call is 508-580-7123. And I'd also like you to know that this Saturday, May 15th, from 3 until 7, you can come to Ward 4 to obtain a vaccine free of charge because vaccines are going to be given out in the parking lot of America's Food Basket Supermarket at 1650 Main Street free vaccines and there's also going to be free food and I think some music. So it couldn't be easier this Saturday, May 15th from three until seven. Please consider being vaccinated. Thank you. And in other city news, pretty soon the Brockton City Council will be reviewing the city budget, which is proposed by Mayor Robert Sullivan for the coming fiscal year, which begins on July 1st of this year. Um, Mayor Sullivan has promised to deliver his proposed budget to us um, earlier. It comes in a binder that's about this thick, and the council will get at least one week to review that budget. We're still working on the details, but we expect that our budget hearings will take place in early June over three nights, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and we'll be considering each department of the city's proposed budgets. And then on the fourth night, we'll be setting aside time for members of the public to weigh in on the proposed budget as will have been discussed on the prior nights. That's a little different than how we've been doing it in the past. Usually, or at least for as long as I've been on the city council, we have public comment for a short period before we review the proposed budget. Um, and we're, we're thinking that this is a better way to go because you'll all be able to watch at home and hear about the various departments and where the money goes and where it's proposed to be going and then, and then um, comment. We're not sure whether we'll be able to take comment in our city hall chambers at city hall or else on Zoom. We're, we're not sure we're ironing out those details, but be assured we're we're anxious and willing to hear what the public thinks about our proposed budget, um, and then we'll be voting on it after hearing public comment. Um, the proposed budget is going to be available on the city website. 
in past years. It's been placed on reserve at the library. However, at this time, the library is closed. So I am told we're making every effort to make it available on the city website for review by residents. So in Ward 4 news, um, city boards and commissions have been busy these past months considering matters all over the city and in particular in Ward 4. At the end of March, the housing project, which has long time been proposed at 261 Thatcher Street, was approved by the Brockton Planning Board. The proposal was originally for 175 apartments. That number was reduced to 160 apartments. And they're going to be workforce housing created under the state law, Chapter 40R, mostly one and two bedroom units. The developer was very responsive to the many, many requests made by city officials as well as the peer reviewer hired by the, the Brockton Planning Office to review the developer's proposals. We made the best deal that we could make um, under the circumstances. I've been getting a lot of calls these last weeks about activity on Thatcher Street next door to the site of this housing project, land to the left of it. And uh, that land has been being cleared of trees and growth. Um, and the land stretches from Thatcher Street all the way to East Street. And I want to reassure everyone that's not for the, the housing project that I just spoke of. It's actually for a cemetery that's going to be an expansion of the existing private cemetery that was used by the Sisters of Jesus Crucified, who formerly owned that land. Um, so. It's very painful to drive by and see the felled trees and up, uprooted bushes and things, but I am hopeful that this cemetery will be an improvement. It'll certainly be a quiet neighbor for the existing neighbors who live there. I'm hopeful they will be good neighbors to all on Thatcher Street and East Street. Also in Ward 4, at 634 to 648 Summer Street, a factory site was cleared several years ago, and the current owners are seeking Conservation Commission approval to improve the land with a solar panel field. Um, it's currently being reviewed by the Conservation Commission. Certainly it will be a quiet neighbor versus the 175 apartment units that was proposed there a number of years ago. I'm keeping an eye on it. And finally, Last month, the License Commission renewed a beverage and food license that was issued to a group that owns a property at the corner of East Chestnut Street and Main Street in the heart of Campello. It's the former site of a Chinese restaurant. I'm told a family restaurant will eventually be going there, so I'm excited. That stretch of Main Street is really becoming more like a food row with um, a number of new restaurants and takeout places all delicious food from everything that I've tried. You can tell I've been trying all their food too. Um, come to Campello if you're looking for a good meal, I guess I would say. So now, there, there's so many things I can talk about on Facts of Four, but I've been getting a lot of questions lately about what do I do as Ward 4 City Councilor? And so the first thing and the most important thing that I do is I prepare for and I attend meetings. Um, I attend city council meetings, which are held twice a month usually. Um, sometimes there are special meetings that are held for special purposes. I attend finance committee meetings twice a month. And then each year the council president assigns the members of the council to sit on subcommittees of the city council, which are known as standing committees and are created by city ordinance. And this year I've been assigned to the ordinance and rules committee the Public Safety Committee, and I'm also serving as the chair of the Public Safety Committee, and the Accounts Committee. And then we recently created a new committee on equity, diversity, and inclusion. And I'm sitting on that committee, and I'm proud that I wrote the proposed ordinance, which we approved creating that committee. Finally, the, the council president has asked me to sit on an ad hoc committee to write a job description for the city clerk and the assistant city clerk and the legislative council who advises the city council. So I'm busy. I'm really busy. And I, I like doing all these things. It's not all that I do. 
This year, I've sat on a technical review committee to review proposals to operate the wastewater treatment plant, which is located in Ward 4, as well as the water treatment plants, both serving the city of Brockton. Those, those contracts come up for renewal every 10 years or so. It just so happens they're up in 2021. And so um, into that technical review committee alone, I put about 20 hours of work. Um, it was very technical and very interesting. I know a lot more about wastewater treatment and water treatment than I have ever known in my life. Very important though in Brockton since it's located in Brockton. And uh, we've had past issues with the uh, operation of the wastewater treatment plant. Um, also, as Ward 4 City Councilor, I attend many meetings and events, some which support the city in Ward 4, others uh, that I go to to learn about issues and concerns that affect the city in Ward 4, and others that are just very simply to learn about how to be a better city councilor. I love to learn, that's one of the best parts of this job. I love to do research and find out the whole answer to a question that gets posed to me, often by constituents. And the last thing that I do, or it's the last thing I can think of as I was writing my, my laundry list here, I am constituent services in Ward 4. And so I receive calls and emails from Ward 4 residents and also Ward 4 operators of businesses. And it's just a, 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 a wide breadth of, of information and questions and concerns that are brought to me. As an example, bumpy roads, street lights, property development, noise. I get a lot of questions about noise, which have already started and will really be, they will increase as the, as the days get warmer and, and longer. Um, I get a lot of calls about litter and unkept spaces in Ward 4. In many instances, I'm acting as a liaison, um, connecting a resident or a business to a department of the city hall that can help them with their concerns. In other times, I'm speaking on their behalf, especially when it comes to issues involving crimes in neighborhoods. Um, it's very interesting. I never know what the day is going to bring. Um, there's, there's just so much to learn and so much to do in this city council work. So that is a thumbnail explanation of what I do as Ward 4 city councilor. This is public service. I'm proud to do it. Um, I'm proud to represent Ward 4. So as I mentioned a moment ago, I get a lot of calls, especially at this time of year, about litter, about trash and unkept areas. And I have to say, throughout Brockton and in Ward 4 in particular, there's trash everywhere along public roads and streets, on private and public properties. I, I'm just amazed at how much trash there is right now. And it's that time of year when we want to spiff up Ward 4 and the city of Brockton. So the city is holding a Brockton Beautification Day, and that's on Saturday, May 22nd, from 9 until noon. And what we're doing is we're asking city residents to give us some time that morning to help pick up trash and to beautify our streets and sidewalks. And it's being run by the Department of Public Works. They're asking citizens to register with them. And there's an important reason to do that. They want to know where you're working and so they can go to those areas afterwards to pick up the bags of trash that you accumulate. Pre-registration is being held at the Recycling Depot, located at 300 Oak Hill Way. Their hours are Monday through Saturday, I believe, from 8.30 until 4.30. They might close a little sooner on Saturdays. Um, you can go there and register. You can also obtain supplies, garbage bags. You can borrow um, um, rakes and shovels and brooms to use in this work if you don't have them yourself. They just ask that you return them when it's over. Um, you, you can also register the morning of the event, which is Saturday, May 22nd, at Brockton High School, on the grounds of Brockton High School. You can pick up that, those supplies at that time. It's a little easier to get them at the Recycling Depot beforehand. But you'll be returning your supplies and also returning uh, from your morning of, of beautifying the city after 12 noon, and you'll be going back to Brockton High School. And at that time, everyone who, who 
pitches in on this event will be getting a box lunch and a raffle ticket. And you'll have a chance to win all sorts of prizes that are being donated and, and, um, and contributed. And I'm going to be contributing some gift cards and probably a box of Gowell's candy. So um, we're asking people from throughout the city to participate in this. I'm specially asking Ward 4 residents to devote just an hour on Saturday, May 22nd, to clean up and pick up of our major Ward 4 streets. Um, I'm asking you to go out and do your part on these streets in particular, Carl Avenue, Copeland Street, East Street, Main Street, Montello Street, Plain Street, Thatcher Street, and Sargent's Way. These are uh, what I believe to be the main roads, oh, and Grove Street as well, of Ward 4. These, this is where people pass by and where I'm getting complaints about there being trash. And I'd be so grateful if you'd spend just an hour in these areas doing what you can to fill a bag or two of, of trash to make our Ward 4 look better. I'd be very grateful. It's just one hour. A as someone smarter than me used to say, be the change you want to see in Ward 4. So those are my messages for this edition of Facts on Four. In closing, I'd like to say it's my honor to represent Brockton's Ward 4 as its city councilor. Brockton's Ward 4 is a great place to live and work, and as is the city of Brockton. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or concerns, call me, Ward 4 City Councilor Susan Nicastro, at 508-894-1314, or else you can email me at snicastro, that's S-N-I-C-A-S-T-R-O, at cobma.us. Thank you for watching and have a great day. <music>